As Senate deliberations for the proposed 2023 national budget kicked off today in the plenary, Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri vowed no reenactment in any way, shape, or form for next year's proposed General Appropriations Act. And for added insurance, Zubiri doubled down by putting off all commission on appointment hearings to meet his set deadline in a week and a half's time or by November 18th for the plenary and to ratify it on their end by the end of the month. Our Daniel Manalastas has more. Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri assured that there will be no reenacted budget for 2023 as the Senate will start its plenary deliberations on the 5.268 trillion peso national expenditure program tomorrow. Zubiri said that they are aiming to finish the deliberations by November 18 and pass it on November 30. Zubiri recognized, meanwhile, the limited fiscal space. We promised the president that we will pass it latest second week of December. At mean when I say pass, ratified na, ibibigay na namin yung uh, libro sa kanya. Gusto po namin ay magkano po tayo ng signing bago magpasko. Para naman ay maaga pa lang uh, happy na po yung taong bayan. Zubiri also gave his thoughts on the lump sum funds which he assured will be put on detail. He also believes that DSWD's response as well as the National Housing Agency should be strengthened due to the recent effects of severe tropical storm Paeng. Yung query ni Senator Coco Pimentel na may mga lump sums, uh, ang aking position dyan, we must practice fiscal responsibility, fiscal uh, for budget efficiency. So, uh, definitely, kung yung lump sum na yan, eh, walang silbi, ilagay na sa Department o Ahensya na makakagamit ng pondong yan. Zubiri, meanwhile, sees no problem on the Confidential and Intelligence Fund as long as the money will be certified with a commission on audit where it was used. Daniel Manalastas for The Nation.